theory is Einstein's theory of general relativity in terms of a theory that works, and that was 1915. So it's, it's almost a century since we uh, made, you know, testable experimental progress. I would imagine that there are already people lined up who have an idea of what's going to happen when you turn this beam on later yeah. on this year. Um, is there any real disagreement? Are there camps that have developed? Oh, absolutely. There's a huge disagreement because this it's truly a leap into the unknown. It, I mean, you hear that a lot about scientific experiments, but this one really is uh, a, a big jump. The most powerful accelerator at the moment is, is in Chicago, actually, the, the Tevatron at Fermilab, where I've, I've worked. Uh, I worked there before I moved on to the LHC. And, and the LHC is an order of magnitude, pretty much, uh, increase in energy, and it's a huge increase in the number of proton-proton collisions we can have every second. So, it, uh, in a sense, I was going to say all bets are off. It's not quite true. I mean, we know some things that we're going to discover. So we will discover the origin of mass in the universe, the mechanism that generates the mass for the for the fundamental particles. And that would be the Higgs boson. Well, it could be. I mean, the, 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 the correct thing to say is whatever does that job, we, we should see. I mean, I, I would say, actually, we will see. Uh, as long as the machine functions properly, we'll see it. It could be the Higgs. That's, in a sense, the most likely in that it's, that it's a theory that works. Um, but it could be something else, and uh, you, you will find people who, who don't certainly don't believe in the so-called standard model Higgs. But there, there are many different Higgs theories. There's the or, or, or Higgs manifestations of the Higgs mechanism. One, the standard model Higgs is the simplest. You find one Higgs particle called the standard model Higgs. Uh, but there are so-called supersymmetric theories that many people think are actually possibly more likely. And in some of those theories, the simplest, you get five Higgs particles. You know, so so it, even the Higgs, it, it, you can have different camps as to how many Higgs particles you'll find. It's, it's a fascinating time to be a particle physicist. So the existence of the Higgs was suggested in the early 90s in Chicago. Is that true? Um, no, it was the... We, we've got no direct experimental evidence for the Higgs particle. Um, we've got... We've got indirect evidence in the, the standard model of which it's part, which, which is our best theory of particle physics at the moment, um, works. And, as far, and, and you can, we've tested it to immense precision in Chicago at the Tevatron and at experiments at CERN and, and at SLAC, for that matter, in Stanford in San Francisco and elsewhere. And it, always, it works beautifully well, and the Higgs is a part of that. So you can claim there's indirect evidence, but you can evade that indirect evidence actually very easily in the, in the theories. So it, it, the, tr the correct